Well, hi everybody. It is the last day of 2020. It will be midnight in about four hours. I'll probably be fast asleep at that time because the new year means nothing to me. Just like every major holiday or birthday. They're just things that we invent that we should be excited about, but really, who cares? It's just a number. I'm gonna read some stuff from my phone. 4,000 comments on my last video. Like, what the hell do you guys have to say? How in the fuck am I supposed to read 4,000 comments? Okay, it's not gonna happen, but I'll just start randomly. Here I go. 4,000 comments by Doomslayer, posted six hours ago. Her, be vegan. YouTube has evidence of her eating a McDouble. There you go. Can you see? Ah, uh, you can't see it, can you? Hold on. Can you see? I don't know how to make you see that. Oh, there. Right? So, yeah. Since YouTube has evidence, it must be true. Because, you know, nobody ever edits things or lies on YouTube. Oh my goodness, I don't even know where to be. I mean, just so much crap. What's the point reading any of this? Randomly, okay? Her, I don't want to force you to be vegan. Also her, if you don't start shoving apples down your throat, you will go to hell. Heaven is for good people. Unless you don't believe in heaven, then you should just be good because it's the right thing to do. Just ordered everything off a McDonald's menu. Feeling good? HBU. I have no idea what that means. Oh, how about you, maybe? <laughs> Taking off the lettuce and stuff, dough. Don't want that on my food. Okay, that's great. Thanks for telling me. This is how you this is how you spend your time. Like you don't have anything better to do than type that in my comment section. Like, how guilty are you feeling about eating these animals? You have to tell me about it. Okay, what about something else? Okay, what, what is going on with the videos of you and Tommy in it? I don't know. I mean, this kid, I had no idea who this kid was. Somebody just said something, somebody tagged me on TikTok and said, you should do a video about him or he doesn't like... Americans or something. Anyways, I'm not American. I'm Canadian, but apparently all his fans are freaking out because I did a video about him and it had over a million views over on TikTok. So I looked at all of the duets that people did and people are just incredible how they imitate each other. It's fascinating. Anybody who wants to get their PhD in psychology contact me because if you just look at the duets from my videos you will see complete insanity okay the first one everybody's freaking out just like when i did that one on that guy uh, gordon ramsay all the answers oh my god everybody's like oh this does oh my god it's incredible look what she's doing she's daring to challenge gordon ramsay and then gordon ramsay who doesn't give a shit about me and why should he completely ignores me and then everybody walks away and they freaked out for nothing so i did a video also i trying to encourage this guy tommy in it who i don't even know it's just that somebody said you should he hates vegans or something so i'm like okay apparently he's some famous guy so i'll do a video encouraging him to be vegan why not even if he'll never see it his audience will see it and they will hear the words vegan, vegan phobia, vegan fantastic. They will understand that they should go and watch the movie Dominion, watch Earthling, Dominion Movement, and Earthlings. So only good can come out of me raising the issue, right? Then you look at all of the duets that people do. For those of you who are just on YouTube who don't understand about TikTok, there's this thing you can do which is duets. So they watch my video and then they react at the same time. And everybody just imitates each other. 
Nobody has any critical thinking skills or ability to think for themselves. Whatever people start doing, everybody does the same thing. The first video of Tommy in it, everybody was like freaking out. Oh my God, she's going after him. And they were laughing, some of them, which was fine. It, it was sort of, you know, it would require a, or you would think that it would elicit rather a kind of a joyful, fun tone because, you know, here I am just going after this random kid and saying, hey, maybe you should be vegan. And then the next video, but then, no, but then in that video, I was also looking at others and people were like upset, like one, like not one, but like several people were, were just like crying, like how dare she go after him? So I made another follow-up video saying, guys, you're crazy. Like you realize I'm just a human talking to another human. I'm just saying, hey, have you considered being vegan? Maybe you should watch these documentaries. Stay away from Tommy. Oh my goodness, what the fuck are you doing? Why are you on this app? So I said, uh, do you guys have nothing better to do? Do you realize that I'm just talking to this kid? Like, I really, I don't understand. I think, I think anybody who's like, anybody who's younger than me seems to be insane. Actually, everybody's insane. You guys seem to think that the word forcing is talking. Like, I don't think you have any clue about life. Talking to somebody or making a video about somebody is not forcing them. And even if I explain this, that I'm not coming down there, you know, bashing down your door and shoving tofu down your throat. I could say that a hundred times. And you're just like, yeah, but you're forcing us to be vegan. No, I'm not. I'm just telling you that ethically it's the right thing to do. That veganism is a moral baseline for any kind hearted person on this planet. Everybody should not just be vegan. They should be a vegan animal rights activist. And anyone who thinks that that's not true has no clue about what's going on. Or they are simply one of the tiny minority of people who are psychopaths in this world. And there are. I think it's about 1%. So think of that. One out of 100 people really doesn't give a shit about anybody else. And will do anything possible to get through life. Whether it require, you know, they'll, they'll hurt them to do whatever. And think about it. If I have, I just checked, somebody said I had... 1.6 million followers. So I checked and was like, yeah, it's true. Like, I don't really care about the number. What I care about is that people are watching the videos and watching the documentaries that I recommend. Because I cannot show any violence of what really goes on be behind the scenes, like the things that you guys don't know about in factory farms because TikTok takes down those videos. So I encourage you to watch those documentaries. Go to watchdominion.com and go to earthlings.com. What did I say? Watchdominion.com and earthlings.com. Watch those videos. Watch them. Seriously, you have to learn before you open your mouth and just go on about something you know nothing about. So anyway, with regard to that Tommy kid who is apparently some famous YouTube person who plays video games or whatever. Um, I am just going with my message to whoever. I don't care who it is. Sometimes I will talk to somebody who has six followers. Sometimes I will talk to somebody who has 10 million followers. All I want to do is make sure that you understand what goes on. And so you can make educated decisions. That's all I can do. And I intend to do this for the rest of my life. So whether I get banned from TikTok or banned from YouTube, it doesn't matter. I don't care if I'm by myself standing in front of my house with one little sign or outside of McDonald's with one sign in my ukulele, whatever. I am never going to stop because I have done wrong to these animals. I ate them. I have a coat that I bought years ago that has feathers in it. I have a responsibility to try to undo the damage that I did. I drank the milk from cows who were put in a cycle of violence. I 
did not know. And even when I started to know what was going on, I did exactly what you guys are doing. Like, I don't want to know. Pretend it's not happening. And I fucking hate myself for what I did. I was so wrong. I should, I should have changed earlier. And that's why I'm so tough on everybody. Because I wish that somebody had grabbed me by the shoulders and said, what are you doing? Why are you drinking milk? Why are you eating cheese? You have no right to do that. Like, anyway, so I didn't want to make this video too long and it's 10 minutes and 38 seconds. I, I don't know where to keep going. Um, all I'm saying, my main message to everybody, if you can possibly do it, is to try to just think of having a space between when you guys get some information and when it, you talk. Okay, so you get some information in your head, like that vegan teacher is saying, watch this video, or that vegan teacher is saying her dog's vegan. Don't just blurt out, oh my God, you're abusing your dog. Just pause and just think to yourself, oh, that's interesting. I wonder if dogs can be vegan. Maybe I'll Google it. Oh, maybe I'll look at another article. And maybe I'll really look at her dog in the videos and see if her dog's okay. For the millionth time, Bella is fine. She has been vegan since June. No, it's me. I've been vegan since June 27th, 2016. She has been vegan since August 2017. Okay, so at the time of this video, that's approximately three and a half years. Now today she was out with other dogs, with about 10 other dogs in a giant field. She is identical to every other dog. When I tell people that she's vegan, they are shocked that she's had no eggs, no cheese, no animal products for three and a half years. They can't believe it. So she's doing okay. I don't know whether she'll live longer than other dogs or not. Apparently she could, possibly, but you know, she's normal. I don't think she'll live less long than other dogs. What's gonna happen to me? I don't know. You know, vegans still get sick. They get other illnesses. We're normal like everybody else. Some vegans live longer, some vegans live the same amount of time. Chances are very unlikely that I'm going to get any cardiovascular problems with my heart, with my circulation, because, you know, I don't have any high cholesterol levels or anything like that because I eat no animal product. Um, anyways, I hope you guys are doing well. I wish you all a happy new year. I thank you for everybody who's following and still paying attention. And thank you for the, the few of you who look a little bit deeper, who are truly kind enough and intelligent enough to look into becoming vegan. It really is the best thing for the environment, for yourself and the animals. And being vegan is really only about the animals. The other things are just bonuses, but being vegan is about being the kindest person you can be. Please like and subscribe to this if you want to learn more and go ahead keep talking to each other in the comment section and if you're trying to contact me i don't even know how to tell you to contact me because anytime i give out any address it's completely spammed so you have to work really hard if you want to get my attention because i can't possibly read all those comments and anyways i'm sorry if you're trying to contact me if you're really a good person and you want to say something Okay, I'm thinking about you and wishing you all a really happy new year. Take care, everyone. Good night.